Okay, um, this video is about Dwayne Wade's uh, son and allowing him to change his name to Zaya. Um, if he chose a name um, already, um, that's cool or whatever the situation. If you want to lock that name down in, on social media um, uh, websites and stuff like that so you can use it or whatever for later or whatever, that's cool and everything like that. But the whole thing with... Um, with uh, Dwayne, um, a son being um, gay, like making that like the his main topic in his life is not good. That's not good parenting, and I think that um, uh, child services should be involved with this situation because um, I feel like education should be first and foremost with kids. 12 years old, he's still a kid, you know what I'm saying? So I think um, if anything that um, the way should be promoting about his um, son, I think it should be his education, okay? Um, not his sexuality. Like at 12 years old, I didn't want to um, be bringing, talking about my daughter's sexuality, you know what I'm saying, uh, when she was 12. She's not gay, but she's straight, but I didn't want to talk about her sexuality. We were still trying to make sure, you know, her education was on point, you know, trying to, you know, make sure um, her grades was on point to get to a good high school and trying to figure out what high school she's going to get into, not her sexuality. So I think that... Um, the Wayne's son is playing on, um, you know, you know, playing on him with the attention. You know, I think he's really seeking for attention because maybe his father been traveling a lot or whatever the situation is, and he's um, seeking attention. Okay, so yeah, I'm also gay, so it's not um, being against gays or anything like that. You know. I'm a lesbian and everything like that, too. So I'm in that gay, LGBTQ, whatever letters you want to say, community, you know. Um, and I also felt it as a young child. I felt it like when I was about five years old, you know. I felt an attraction to other females. So um, I understand that point that, yeah, if he if he feeling it early and, and everything like that, I, I do understand that. It, that is a possibility. You understand what I'm saying? Um, that that very early on you know whether um what's you know if you like boys or you like girls or whatever the situation is you know i don't know how it's in our genes or in our hormones or whatever the situation is but yes you know for all you people that's um heterosexuals and stuff and you don't understand um gay people and stuff like that and you think that oh no um that was a choice that you made to just do like that because you evil and you know you uh following the devil or something like that that's not so because uh, a child is not following the devil if they feel in that way having um a, um a more of an attraction to the same sex opposed to the opposite sex so that's not you know no illuminati or following the devil or anything like that that's actually something um um that was um way out of um my control when I was a kid, I just, you know, realized that, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if it was a trauma that took place um, earlier on or whatever the situation is, or if if I was born that way or whatever the situation is, but um, very early, like, I mean, at five years old, so him knowing now is not the issue. Him knowing that he's feeling like he, like the same sex is not the issue. The issue, when it becomes an issue, is when you have to, when you come to the media and you making these announcements. Okay, you came to the media, you made the announcement that, you know, my son um, is gay. Okay, so now that's the issue that you have to deal with. You have to probably um, find out from other parents that's raising gay kids or whatever. So you have to probably research or whatever, how to raise this child, how to deal with it or whatever the situation is. But you're not, what you're not going to do is let that child, um, 
make that the main issue um, of his child life. You know what I'm saying? When he get around 16, 17, you know, around them ages where he should be, ha where he might be having sex or whatever the situation is, then you have to stress to him that, you know, about AIDS and, you know, wearing condoms and safe sex and stuff like that. But right now at 12, he should not be having sex. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So to keep talking about that stuff and bringing that stuff to the media and stuff like that at 12 years old. Um, uh -uh. I wouldn't um, do that with my child I wouldn't do that with my child no mm -mm. The, your first and for, foremost thing is to um, get your education so you can um, get you a job or start you a business or go to college you know um, when you turn 18 years old when you graduate from high school you are focusing up on how you're going to become independent because right now you dependent of on me right now you're depending on me and what I want you to do is to get your life together so that um, you could become independent you know, with them, with uh, Dwayne uh, Wade's, um, whatever, you know, with his um, family structure, whatever, he's already rich or whatever, he's a ball player, he's already successful and stuff like that, so his child don't have to be so worried about, um, you know, money and how he's going to get along in life, you know, but me coming from... Um, you know, regular folks or whatever the situation is, we raising our kids um, to get to do better than us in life. You understand what I'm saying? We raising our kids to get their education, try to figure out their career, um, um, all the trials and tribulations I done been through in, in my life. I don't want my child to go through it. You know, even though, you know, your child, even no matter how many times you talk to your kid, they want to experience um, experience on their own. You could tell them a thousand times something, and then they'll go out there and do what you said don't do, and they'll get kicked in their butt and stuff like that, and then they'll come back and say, you know, you was right or whatever the situation is. But in this situation, um, I can't really be going at a kid, you know, I'm an adult, I can't really be going at a kid, but I do want to tell um, the adults that's in his life, the Wayne, or Wade, or whatever your name is, um, uh, you, your child is playing on you for attention, <laughs> you know, when I look at him talk, and everything like that, and, and I look at how he um, acts with you, and stuff like that, He's making that a uh, overall issue, and you need to take control. You need to take back control because now that he's gay, oh, it's a very sensitive issue and stuff like that. So um, we should give that special attention. And here, let's come to the media to sh you know to show that you know I'm supporting him and I'm behind him in the media and stuff like that with him and stuff like that. No, that's not what you're supposed to be coming to the media about your child with or whatever. If he has a talent. If he has a talent, if he play ball or something like that, then, you know, yeah, you could bring that. You know what I'm saying? If he has, um, if he's good with his education, if he's uh, being promoted to the next grade, if he's graduating or something like that, you should be promoting that. You know what I'm saying? If he's um, good with his math or reading or, you know, or something like that, educational, you should be coming to the light with, um, to the media, um, about your child about that you know but if you come to the media and let us know okay my child is is gay that's fine because maybe um you going around people and other people seeing other people notice or or something like that i don't even think that he's supposed to have his own facebook or social media um uh, Instagram accounts or anything like that. I don't even think that because uh, you're supposed to be 18 years old, I believe, right? So he shouldn't. He's not even supposed to be up on social media, um, having his uh, own social media accounts and stuff like that for you know men to come after him. You know, uh, you know he have to. He still have to have a life now. You know, since you come into the media like that um, with your son like that, you're gonna have to have extra security on him and stuff like that because now, you know, instead of him out there going to flirt with women or whatever the situation is, you know, 
he's already made it known to the media that he like um, other boys. He like the same sex, so he's going to have men. You have to watch out for men coming after him. So um, I think that that's, that, that was wrong right there where, you know, you're putting your child's life, you know, safety in danger. You know, that's um, a, a, um, a danger to his safety and stuff like that, to say that early on and stuff like that, because he has to go to school and stuff like that. And, you know, he want to be able to move around by himself without his father and stuff like that. You know, he should, probably shouldn't even be in the media's eye or whatever right now so that he can have a child life and stuff like that. So now he going to school and everything like that and all his friends and stuff like that. And, and, and um, I guess he's telling his friend, yeah, my father is the famous basketball player, but he supports what I do. Okay, so you famous for playing basketball. You got a lot of media attention so now um your child is looking for attention too he wants the same kind of fame and he wants the same type of uh, attention and stuff like that so um okay he's being gay that he not, you know i'm not saying that um he's fabricating that that's probably real but um all the attention all of that talking and all of that stuff like that in the car talking and stuff. Okay, you can have private time talking and stuff like that, but you uh, recording conversations about it and stuff like that so that you can post it to the media. You come into the media live to keep talking about my son. Um, now his decision is to change his name and he came up with a name and all of that stuff that he wanted to be called by and stuff like that. No, you're going to be called by your birth name you should be called by your birth name um, while you're a child underneath the, your parents' roof. If your parents um, named you a name when you was born, that should be the name that you're going to be going by while you're a child. When you become a, an adult and you uh, make your own decisions, you are able to make your own decisions and stuff like that. Okay, I had it in my head all the time that I wanted to be Zaya, whatever the situation is. So when you start getting to the age where you can get out on your own and be on your own and taking care of yourself and stuff like that, and, and uh, you... Um, are more mature and you know the dangers of putting yourself out there like that then you um could bring that to the public you know then you could bring that to the public and stuff like that because anybody that's gay know that um it's a danger and mainly um being um famous and stuff like that you know um that could be um a danger because your family's already in the spotlight and stuff like that so you got to be watching out for that because you're famous and rich already and stuff like that now you um you bringing on more attention to yourself from men that might like little boys and stuff like that oh he likes men and stuff like that so you might have men that's watching you talk and talk to your father and all of that stuff about you being gay at 12 and some grown ass man is probably looking at you and, and thinking oh um if i could get you know next to him or near him you understand what i'm saying so um i would say uh, focus on your education you know a child what what us parents us normal parents do is we um we're we're more focused on the ch our child's education how how they getting along in school you know what i'm saying what is the teacher saying you understand what I'm saying? Is the teacher saying you're a good student? How's your grades? How's your report card and stuff like that? That's what um, if um, gay people want to be normal in society and stuff like that, then you have to live like normal people. Just because you realize that you're gay as a child doesn't mean that you're going to be having extra special attention and stuff like that. We're going to treat you regular like a child, okay? You're a child that you like your same sex or whatever the situation is, but you shouldn't even be thinking about sex right now. You should. That's not the um, head of the topic. Um, did you do your homework tonight? <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? You know, how you know, how's his report card and stuff like that? Is he smart in school? How's he with math and reading? Can he read? You know, what, how is um, his, his math and stuff like that? Is he good with his math? Is he keeping up with his school? What is his um, intentions for um, um, the future? What does he want to be when he grow up? 
Do he want to play ball like his father? Or what do he want to do? What profession do he want to do? Or he just going to keep talking about that he gay. And his father going to have sympathy for him and keep giving him money. And then the next thing, you know, he going to be giving him money for a sex change operation and stuff like that. You don't um, know if you, um, you might know that you gay, but you don't know if you're ready for like a sex change operation and, you know, to be like a transgender. You understand what I'm saying? Where they cut your penis off and stuff like that and you don't no longer have a penis and stuff like that. Because even though I'm gay, I don't want to change and be like walk around here like a man and, um, you know, and to, you know, grow a mustache and, 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 and be looking like a man, but at the same time, I'm still, my strength-wise is weak like a woman. So why would I change a uh, transgender and, and change my sex if um, I'm not able to square off with a man? You see what I'm saying? So you got to be careful with that. You understand what I'm saying? And then, you know, you know, I might be gay and like women and stuff like that, but do I want the challenges that a man, cha you know, faces and stuff like that? You know what I'm saying? Walking down the street, if I change my transgender or whatever, it's bad enough. I wear my braids and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? So they be thinking that I'm a boy already. They be thinking that I'm a man already and stuff like that. And um, I don't wear makeup, so you see all of the the darkness under my eyes i had that since a kid and it just got worse as i grew up my old you know being older you see frown lines and stuff like that you know what i'm saying in my face or whatever the situation is you know so um i'm just trying to you know make the statement or whatever the situation is while you young um live a child's life you know what i'm saying just um, go ahead and um enjoy your child's life because when you get old and stuff shit changes and you're not that beautiful cute kid no more whatever the situation is you know what i'm saying your features is going to start changing and stuff like that you know and um live a child's life and um um i say to zaya is that what you want to be called um the wade wade's uh, son um don't do that to your father. You're making your father look funny in the public eye. You know, you're making you're making it seem like um, you um, making your sexuality the center of attention. And as long as he's allowing you to do that, you're doing that, um, and you're gonna keep on doing that because you done put something in his head and he's going with it and stuff like that but what he really should be doing is be putting you in check and he should put you in check in public listen okay i know you know my son he's gay and he's expressed to me that he's gay and everything like that so he probably be looking you know like doing girls things in public or whatever and you know he's probably gonna grow up you know to uh be in relationship with the same sex that's it. <laughs> then after that, um, but I'm, you know, focusing, my main focus with him is on his education. I travel a lot. I'm a ball player, whatever the situation is. I'm famous or whatever the situation is. Um, but um, his, my main focus for, you know, whoever's there with him, you know, taking him to school or home with him when I have to travel is his education, not his sexuality. And what he's planning on being in life, he's going to be a model or, you know, whatever he's going to be. He's going to be a doctor, lawyer, whatever whatever he's trying to be in life should be um, first and foremost. Every time we turn around, we shouldn't hear some new news about his gayness. Okay, um, yeah, my son is gay. Now, my son want to change his name um, to a transgender, to a girl name. Um, he want to be known as a girl. 12 years old, um, you can't make that decision. 12 years old, um, you're not making decisions for yourself. You're not at 12 years old. If you want to do that at 18 years old or whatever the situation is, um, then we could come out like that. But child services should be involved with, um, you know, um, it changing a 12 year to a woman to a girl changing a 12 year old from a boy uh to a girl no you don't want to do that you um you must not even be going to school 
are you going to school? You want to um, have all of your boyfriends in school and all the girls calling you by a girl name? How you going to school like that? And you on the media attention is you um, going to school telling your your friends, hey, look at uh, my father supporting me. Look, um, uh, he he he's supporting um, and telling everybody I'm changing my name and stuff like that. Is this a game that you playing on your father? You understand what I'm saying? Don't do that to your father. You're making your father look like a, a little funny. He might be feeling guilty because of his success and his fame and, you know, focusing on um, basketball and, and, and traveling and stuff like that. So he's probably doing this because he feel a little guilty. You understand what I'm saying? So he's trying to support you and how your life turned out. I hope while your father, while... Um, the way it was um, playing ball, nobody around his son turned his son out. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, while he out there playing ball, some man was molesting him or something like that. So, um, you know, maybe it's the real story that need to come out behind that. Did somebody molest him while his father was out traveling, um, playing professional basketball or whatever the situation is? Did he get molested? This is what we trying to figure out. Or did he just grow to know that, you know, I feel like I'm attracted to, you know, men the same sex? Or was he molested? Is there a, something deeper that's trying to be covered up here? You know, so that's all. That's basically all I got to say about it is um, the Wayne Wade, whatever, you, um, if I'm saying it right, um, I know you professional basketball player, you know, I never had to really, t you know, speak about you or say your name before, whatever the situation is, but, um, the Wayne or the Wade or whatever, uh, Wade, uh, your son, I don't know what his real, you know, now, uh, before I know his real name, you came out to say Isaiah, you changing his name to a, a female name, but, um, I think you should be focusing on his future and his, um, education his individuality because your money your money is going to uh probably be able for him to you know still have a good life whether he get a career or not you understand what i'm saying so he's uh fortunate he's born with a spoon in his mouth or whatever the situation is and stuff like that so now that he's born with a spoon in his mouth, he ain't got to worry about what career and stuff like that. He's got to um, work on in college and stuff like that because his father's still going to support him financially. And now he's bringing this, you know what I'm saying, so that he could get some attention so he could be famous. So now he's famous in the media about being gay. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, I think he's just trying to get equal out your fame, you know, I think he's trying to get um, attention, you know, and I think he's trying to get media attention, and I, I think that he's trying to um, control the, the father-son relationship. He's trying to control the father-son relationship. Okay, so you feel like... Um, a female and stuff like that. You don't feel like a boy, so I'm not going to take you out there and play basketball, so I can't look forward to my son, you know, being a baller or whatever the situation is like me and, and raise him to learn, you know, to play ball and play good ball and stuff, and, you know, maybe when he grew up, he'd be on the NBA or something like that, too, because, you know, he'll probably have seniority over, you know, because his father was there and, you know, his father taught him some tricks to the trade or whatever the situation is, so he have a leg up over other kids kids with playing um, ball or whatever situation so since he feel like a girl and stuff like that I guess balling ain't gonna be the thing that he gonna be doing <laughs> you know what I'm saying but what is he interested in I would like to know what Zaya is interested in so you um you want to go by you got your little nickname or your aka that's fine i got my nickname my name is kathy davis but my nickname is the duchess or whatever and i've been doing that since i was younger too or whatever the situation is and i keep the name and i got all the social media um websites and stuff like that so um with zaya i guess you know <clears throat> you already know what name you want. I guess your father could take all the social media accounts out underneath that name or whatever the situation is or, you know, file for um, a name change. I don't know how far you are going with the situation is, but, you know, when it comes down to the um, 
changing your sex, like them cutting, you're actually cutting your peanuts off and giving you injections for your titties to grow and stuff like that. I think um, you should be well in your 20s, you know, um, not even 18. I think, you you know, because the money is there, so you might, uh, uh, the next thing is you pressuring your father into getting the sex, paying for the um, sex change and stuff like that. And he probably doing it at 17 or 18 and stuff like that. But I think that you should go to school you know, experience some college, even though, you know, you don't really need it, your family is rich or whatever the situation is, go, go experience a year or two of college or something like that, go, um, what, what do you like, we don't even know, um, what you, you know, what you want to study in life, you know what I'm saying, if you're going to be having conversations, um, <laughs> with your father that's y'all gonna post to the media okay so it's um you gay you want to have your, your name changed to Zaya but um you know I um I want to be a banker I want to be into real estate you know what I'm saying I want to be a doctor when I when I grow up I want to be a little what else about you what else about you because we can't keep um with a 12 year old um um, on us about um, him, him being gay and his next step towards being gay. No, that's not the that's not the whole idea about your childhood. You understand what I'm saying? That's not the whole idea about you raising a son. You raising you raise you raising your a child. Period. Whether it's son or daughter, when a child is a child, they might be dancing. You know what I'm saying? They might be singing. You know what I'm saying? You might notice um those things. Okay, you notice he's gay. Okay, we got that out the way. Um, do he dance? You know, can he sing? You know, can he um play some instruments is he into any sports you know if it's not basketball maybe volleyball or you know what is you know what do he do you know can he run do he run track or something like that that's what we want to know about you know y'all professionals um kids or whatever the situation is that's in the media just being gay that's all um we know about him so now he want to change his name and stuff like that. And he in the car talking all of this stuff in his father's ear and stuff like that. Okay, put it in check. Okay, I understand that you gay and stuff like that. Yeah, I understand um, that, you know, people should be, you know, sense more sensitive or whatever. Or it should be, you know, it should be a normal thing or whatever the situation is. And parents should accept their kids being gay and stuff like that. That's fine. But that's, that's not going to be the main topic. That that can't be the main topic of a child's life. Else, a professional um, need to come in. You know, if it's not ACS, the child services, or whatever the situation is, we all need to go to therapy. You understand what I'm saying? Because you have to set that aside, and you have to do. Um, you have to be a regular child, also. Okay, you gay, but you have to be a regular child. So, um, with, with 12 years old, what is 12 years old doing right now? What is you going into your teenage age? What's, what's teenagers doing? I'm not talking about what they're doing in the bed sexually. Heterosexual, gay, same sex. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about their academics. You know, what grades you supposed to be in? You in sixth, seventh grade? You in middle school? Whatever. Um, do you have a, a high school that you plan on going to? Or, or you getting private at home um, tutoring? Is that the problem that you're not interacting enough with other kids? Maybe you need to get out there and interact with other kids. You know, when you, when you see um, that being the main um, topic... Okay, we know your the son the Wade Wade's son is gay. Now we know he want he, he want to go by Zaya or whatever the situation is. Okay, so we got that. You understand what I'm saying? Now uh, we want to know what is his plans in life. What do he like to do? What is his hobbies? You know, is he good in school? Can he read? Can he write? You understand what I'm saying? What does he want to be when he grow up? You know, a journalist? Or what What does he want to do with, with his life, with the kids and stuff like that? At 12 and stuff like that, you got to be looking forward to them going to high school and stuff like that. Making sure they grades this together so that they could get into a good high school. So your son is probably not going to a regular, you know, 
<clears throat> public school or maybe a private school. He's probably at home um, tutoring with all of this coming out as gay and stuff like that and all this media stuff. He's already famous and stuff like that. So now he's probably got to get at home tutoring and stuff like that. So is he interacting with other kids? Oh, do he play what it is? He playing with um girls? Oh, so that means he's not playing with boys. He's playing with the girls, with the dolls, or with the doll houses. His room in his room and stuff like that is all set up like a girl's room. Or, you know, it's not like with basketballs or Spider Man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, not sports figures and stuff like that. It's more girl and stuff. Okay, fine. Okay, fine. But what about your academics? What about your academics? So, um, I'm just saying the Wade, Wade, whatever your name is, you're a basketball player. I never had to talk about you before, whatever the situation is, but I do want to, if this message do reach you, um, I don't really get that many plays on my videos and stuff like that. I'm trying to pick up my YouTube, um, videos, um, so like and subscribe, um, if you're here um, listening to me, if you agree with what I'm saying, if you agree with, um, you know, when I bring up topics or whatever the situation is, and you agree um, with me on the topics and stuff like that, how um, I explain my topics or or whatever the situation is, um, subscribe. I need subscribers and like or whatever the situation is. And, yeah, I'm doing... Um, some celebrity gossiping or whatever the situation is but I really try to pick the ones that that um, they need to um, hear the truth they need to they need to come down to earth you know what I'm saying those are the main topics I don't really like every day jump on every little thing and every little piece of news that come out or whatever the situation is but the ones where you know like um, because of your fame or because of your fortune, um, you're getting a little loss. Or you not really noticing because you feel a little guilty for not being around your child more, being home for your child more. So now you're feeling guilty and you're trying to do whatever to make your child happy. And he playing on it. He playing on So what? You gay. That ain't nothing. That ain't, that ain't no big news no more. And everybody's coming out as gay and stuff like that. That ain't no news no more. You know what I'm saying? All the rappers is wearing dresses and purses and stuff like that. All the um, guy rappers and stuff like that. They um, they being more cuter than the girls and stuff like that. They wearing dresses and, and purses and all of that stuff like that. So um, that ain't no big news. <laughs> being so okay, he gay. So And what else? And what else he doing with his life? So, um, the Wade, Wade, don't let your child, and Gabrielle Union, um, she's there and stuff like that. I'm surprised. I understand the support. Y'all trying to come out to say that we support our son of being gay. Okay. But he's only 12. And when you hear his age, is the shocker. Like, 12? Okay. So, he know that he's gay, but the shocker is, is that y'all come into the media with his sexuality, like he's already, um, having sex at 12. Maybe he is, you know, some kids, you know, play around and have little kids sex, you know, early at 10 or 12 or whatever the situation is or whatever. But that really shouldn't be um, brought, brought out, you know, I mean, sex, you know, around 16, 17. <laughs> or whatever the situation is and bringing it to the media whatever the situation is um, if you bring in your child to the media whatever the situation is they should have some kind of special skill or something like that it's because oh yeah he's good in school or you know his grades are so good he's a straight A student or you know he's good with basketball you know what I'm saying he, he might be you know winning the scholarship or the, or the NBA wants him or you know or he wants to be a lawyer when he grows or, you know, my child wants to be a doctor and I'm supporting them or whatever the situation is. Being gay is not your career. Being gay is your career. 
no, you a child, stay in a child's place, you know what I'm saying, and I don't see the way, you know, putting his, his child and uh, his son in check, you know, okay, we talked about this gay issue or whatever the situation is, but, you know, I'm a straight man, you see my woman here is Gabrielle Union, we here, we raising you and stuff like that, and, um, you know, we support you and everything like that, but you have to get your life together as far as, you know, what you want to be in life, I want you to be somebody, I want you to be somebody, you know, uh, you know, I worked hard at being a basketball player and stuff like that. And I want you to figure out what you want to be in life. And I want you to um, work hard at it. Like I worked hard at being a professional basketball player. I want you to work hard at your individuality and who you are and what you want to be. And being gay is not, um, is, is, is not your um, skill. <laughs> you know, that's not your skill. Okay, I'm gay. And so, you know, my skill is to be gay, dress like a gay, throw the scarf around my neck like I'm gay, whip through my hands like I'm gay, come up with a name like I'm gay. No, that's not your trade. That's not your trade. That's not your skill. That's not your profession. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? To bring to the media. Bring to the media that, you know, what you doing as a child, a 12-year-old child, you're going into your teen years. You understand what I'm saying? What high school is you going to? Is you going to a special school? You know what I'm saying? Do you have good grades? Is you going to a special school or, you know, or you're not good with school? If you're not good with school, that's fine, too. So you might want to automatically... You might want to automatically, um, uh, somebody's backing up uh, by my car. I'm just trying not to get hit. Yeah, so, um, you might, um, even if you're not that good with school, I was a dropout. I dropped out, but I got my GED. I went to a trade school. I went to a secretarial school. Got associates there. And then after that, later on in life, I'm a music producer. I graduated from um, Full Sail University. I'm, a, you know, for music production and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm not saying that you have to um, be some... Um, you know, straight A student or anything like that, or great with school, but you should be talking about some child stuff, something along your age. At twelve years old, you talking, you know, that's all you're talking about is that I feel like I'm gay or whatever. I feel like I like the same sex or whatever the situation is. Right now, you shouldn't be having sex because, you know, you could have sex with somebody and they could end your life. They could have HIV, the um, um AIDS. Cause you don't know who they sleeping with, you know what I'm saying? So, um, that's not, that's not what a 12 year old should be doing. So I done went so long with this video. I didn't mean for the video to go that long and stuff like that. Cause I don't get that many views and, um, I hope, uh, any, whoever's viewing like it and, um, subscribe or whatever the situation is. <clears throat> but, um. I guess that's it, you know, I guess that's it, you know, next time, um, the Wade, Wade, next time you come to the media, I hope it's, um, with, you know, when you come with your son or whatever, I hope it's about his career path, you know, what he want to be in, in, in life and stuff like that, because, oh, I want to be gay in life, it's not a career path, and, um, I don't want to see him cloud um, your attention, your media attention, with the fact that he's gay. That's not fair to you. He need to grow up and get his own um, and create his own fame. If he piggyback off of you, that's okay. But not every time. Like, he's too young. He's only 12 years old. You shouldn't be letting a 12-year-old guide you. Um, you supposed to guide the, the 12 year old. You supposed to be raising your kid. Don't let him, he trying to raise you. 
to awareness of gay people and stuff like that. You already know that there's gay people in this world and stuff like that. And if you have to accept a child as being gay, then that's cool, you know, and that's understandable. And that don't take years and a whole bunch of media attention to accept. You understand what I'm saying? So, you know, go ahead and knock the move that out the way and see what he want to be academically in life. What's his future going to be about? Is he interacting with other kids? Do he go to parties and stuff like that? What is he doing as a child? 